Hello everyone, I'm going to create an interactable inventory for my game. Somehow when the character collides with any item, the item adds to inventory. Let's see how it works. In first step, we should prepare the receivable item. For better visibility of the item, right click on it and create a point light from light section. Change its intensity and its position. Another thing that our item needs to be seen better is an animation. To prevent animation and movement conflicts, best way is to create an empty game object and put item in its child. Name it Health OBJ. Now from animation window, create a new animation. Click record button and select the item that is in empty object subsets. Change its Y position a bit until it moves up and down. In this way, the item will draw attention to itself. Our item is suitable for now, so convert it to prefab by dragging it into the project section. Let's prepare the UI part of inventory. Right click and create a canvas from UI section. If you double click it, you can see it in the scene window. Now right click on canvas and create an image. By holding Alt button and this option, the inventory frame will always stay at the bottom of the screen. Change its size and dimensions a bit. And give it the desired image. To make UI elements more interesting, you can add shadow components for them. Now change image name to inventory. Let's move on to how items are displayed. Right click on inventory and create a new image. This is going to be our item's background. Create another image and give it item image. This is one of the item's final look. You can create as many items as you want. It depends on the number of your items. Now name it Health Item and convert it to prefab. We need a scroll view in order to display all items down here. Now delete created item and create a scroll view. And make its size same as whole inventory. Remove horizontal and vertical in its subsets. Now click a scroll view in a scroll rake component and check vertical option. Then make it transparent by changing color alpha. Let's go for content. Click on it, add content size filter components for it. Set horizontal fit on preferred size. And add another component for it called horizontal layout group. You will understand its usage now. Drag created item in content subsets and duplicate it several times. As you can see, they stay next to each other automatically. Now by changing some options, you can set their space in horizontal layout group component. Now press play. Look, number of items is not important anymore. We can scroll them all easily. If you notice, at the left and right side of our frame, item corners are put on our frame. To fix this, just decrease viewport size from left and right. Now items will simply stay next to each other and they are a screw label. Let's move on to collecting items. Create a new script called player collect and give it to player. Because our game is 3D, we can detect collisions with untrigger enter void. Write in it if object.tag means tag of what you are colliding with was equal to health. First of all, destroy that object. Then produce pre-created item, which is this item. So define a game object called health prefab and write instantiate command in if. The item we want to produce must be at the content subsets. You can specify it in force part of instantiate. So up here, define a public game object called inventory content and at last part of instantiate, write inventory content dot 
transform till as object produces becomes subset of this object. Now let's go to Unity. Give pre-created item to health prefab and give content to inventory content. Before play, our item needs some stuff to detect collisions, so bring it to the scene. First component is Box Collider. Set its dimensions and enable its trigger option. Second one is a rigid body component to detect physics. And at last, it needs a tag called health. That with it, we can detect what is collided item. We already written it in code. Before play, disable use gravity option in rigid body. Let's test it. Player moves, collides with item, item destroys, and its icon displays in inventory. The number of items doesn't matter. Player collects them as the collision happens. Now, how to use these items? Double click on item prefab. From add component, add button component to the item and give it a script to. In a script, define a void called health item. The commands we write in this void will run as we click the item. For example, player's health increases. For test, use print command, write in it health plus 100. For example, character's health is going to increase by 100. And below it, write destroy item command till after using it destroys. Now again, come back to item prefab and click this plus. And drag created a script towards this section. Now from this section, select created void means health item. At last, press Ctrl S and click this little sign up here to come back to the main game scene. Let's test it out. When character collides to item, gets it, and when we click on it, it uses item. And as you can see in console, printed command is shown to us. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.